Danner, Tech Danner, Tech Danner, Danner, Tech Danner, Tech Danner. Hello, this is Danner Tech. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to take one of these xenon flash lamps and make a circuit that is able to light them up. So, a few years back, I bought one of these horseshoe shaped xenon light bulbs at Radio Shack. Now, these are the same kind of light bulbs that are found in most cameras. These are the light bulbs that make that really bright flash that's able to illuminate the background for pictures. But ever since I bought it a few years ago, I've never really used it, never made a circuit or anything. So in today's video, we're going to make this thing work. So the first thing you need to know is how a xenon flash tube works. So as you can see, it has three separate pins. So what the xenon tube is, it's this glass tube that's filled with xenon gas. And xenon gas is non-conductive in its normal state, which means even if you put a voltage between these two pins, nothing will conduct. But that's where this third pin comes in. This third pin has a little ring of metal going around this tube. Now it's not in contact with any of these other pins. But what happens is when you apply a very high voltage to this pin, it ionizes the xenon gas inside and lets current momentarily flow through the entire xenon light bulb. This is what causes it to illuminate in a giant flash. This means we have to build two things. The drive circuit that produces a high enough voltage to go between these two pins, which is about 300 to 200 volts. And we need a super high voltage circuit that can generate about 2000 volts to ionize the gas. Now a simple drive circuit that can produce a high voltage can be made simply using a transformer, a transistor, a large flash capacitor, and diode. These are pretty much all you need to make a 250 volt supply. Now to make this circuit work, you can just connect them like this, where the collector of the transistor goes to one side of the transformer. The emitter goes to ground, and the base goes to through a resistor to one side of the transformer, and the center tap of the transformer goes to positive 2 volts. Now what this circuit does is it's just a simple oscillator that creates a sine wave on this side of the transformer, which lets it have an alternating current output. Now this is rectified by this diode, which feeds this flash capacitor, which this charges this capacitor to a high voltage and allows it to be discharged into this flash tube. Now because I'm going for simplicity here with the um, trigger circuit for this flash tube, I'm just going to go with a simple, very high voltage transformer with one primary coil winding. This transformer has about 1000 ohms of secondary windings and about 1 ohm of primary windings. Now pretty much all that I do with this circuit is I connect one side to positive and I have a momentary switch between the other side and ground. Now what this does is for the brief moment the current is flowing through this primary coil to ground, it induces a very high voltage secondary coil which is then fed to one of the outputs of the xenon tube. Now the other output of this secondary coil goes to just one of the pins. Now it doesn't matter really which one. Now both of the pins of the xenon flash tube go to different sides of the flash capacitor. And this is pretty much the whole circuit. It's kind of uh, badly drawn, but this is it. Now to build this circuit, I'm just going to solder a bunch of things together to make it. Okay, now that your relatively crude circuit is all uh, ready, you can turn on your power supply to about 3 volts. So as you can see, when I touch the trigger wire to the transformer, the light flashes. Now this is very bright light, and it has lots of UV light inside it, which can harm your eyes. So don't look at it when it is firing off. Make sure to look through a camera. Now, let's look at it in some slow motion. And so, if you're watching this video, you can see that when the flash goes off, there is half the screen that's actually not covered 
by the flash. Now this is because the camera has a scan rate where it scans from bottom to top. Now what happens with this is when the flash is on, the camera is scanning. But as soon as the flash turns off, the camera keeps scanning. So this shows how quick the flash goes on for. So this is about 7 eighths of the screen. And so if we multiply my camera's frame rate, which is 120 frames per second, by um, uh, 8 sevenths. So we get this flash was on for about 1 and 130 sevenths of a second. Now that's pretty fast, and that's why this uh, white of the flash only covers part of the screen. Now this circuit is cool at all, but it is very inefficient and will in no wise be my final product. So in my next video, I will be showing you how to take this same concept of how to make a xenon light work and apply it into a more practical circuit that uses less amperage that will be able to drive this flash just as well. And then we, I will be showing you how to take this circuit and make it into a special case and put a special circuit on it so that way I can plug it into my phone and expand on the flash that's already on my phone so that way I can take pictures in very dark environments and still have a xenon type flash. Thanks for watching. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, as always, make sure to discharge your electrolytic capacitor before touching your circuit.